Hello, Sam from Sound on Sound magazine here. I'm at the 2022 NAM convention in Anaheim, California. I'm extremely pleased to be joined by Wayne Jones. How are you doing, Wayne? Yeah, I'm glad you're here too, Sam. It's a, it's a good show. It's Excellent. Uh, How's it been going for you so far? Extremely busy. I've lost my voice. Um, it's been constant. Um, you could probably see this display. It actually looks pretty stunning. Um, yeah. The, even the name well, I'm glad we managed to catch you while the show's quiet at the start of the day before your voice gives out completely. So maybe you could use your, your, last, <laughs> your last intelligible words of the weekend to tell us what's new. Uh, new for me is um, the partnership with um, San, uh, Sinoworks Sound ID Reference. Um, we've been working on this for a while, so you can now export your profile after measuring your, your room. So you export your calibration profile uh, into two files. If it's stereo, it's left and right. It's even multi-channel now. They just launched up to 19, I think, channels. Um, but the beauty that we've done is you can upload it to the speakers. So you export your, your preset after you've done your measurement and upload it directly to the speakers and you never use the app ever again. Yeah, because there's quite a lot of advantages, practically speaking, in having the room correction in the speakers rather than in software or in a separate hardware device. Yeah, for a lot of people, uh, some people want to work outside outside the box, they say, um, and, and use a lot of outboard gear um, where they don't have to go through the computer and, and the um, plug-in of Sonarworks uh, Sound ID reference. Um, and that enables them to do that. You can walk in with your iPhone, you can walk in with multiple um, computers like producers um, at the record plant. Um, I have them there and they um, come in with different uh, of their own laptops. And so they sometimes don't go through the, the system itself. So they just, they can go straight to a, a corrected um, monitor uh, tuned to the room. And does this add significantly to the latency of the monitor? No, zero latency. It reduces. It, oh, impressive. It, it's, it's reduced the latency to zero. <laughs> oh, nice work. <laughs> Thank you. Now, we worked hard on it. Yeah, because yeah, I think that is quite a big deal for some applications, especially if you're tracking. You don't particularly want your speakers to have significant latency. No. Yeah, especially for tracking. And you don't have to flick between zero latency and, and uh, linear phase anymore. Um, the other advantage is with a multi-channel system, uh, my home now has, I had to test it quickly before I came here with 7.1.4, so my front is those two larger monitors there, the centre is the normal um, single 10, the roof, uh, the ceiling is four of the little ones, and oh well, yeah, I've got some news for you guys. I bet your movies sound good then. Awesome, and I've just finished designing a sub. Wow, 15 inch sub, you don't know about that, now you do. It's, uh, it's stunning, um, it completely matches with it. You don't need a sub with my stuff, because they go so low. Uh, so I, I couldn't even figure where to fit it in in the, in the picture when I was measuring my room, but it does. I just do a crossover at uh, uh, a limit on, on the front speakers, and then um, that matches with the sub, so it's a beautiful transition all, with all the same characteristics. Well, I guess even if your main speakers go pretty low, adding a sub kind of takes the load off them and allows them to work louder. Not really, they're that efficient, it doesn't matter. Adding a sub, I've just done it for Dolby Atmos. Um, that, that, they'll produce it. Um, the engineer I worked with in consulting with the Steve Scanlon originally, um, he does a lot of mixing for dance music. He, he doesn't use his sub ever again. He, he feels the air come out of the ports and he doesn't reference any other speaker. So the sub... So the, the role of the sub is literally just for the LFE channel in Atmos? Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. It is, it, is, it is nice. You can feel it down there. It lets it breathe a bit here because these are so tight down there. The sub is tight. There's no boom. And... Um, it's uh, a custom-made driver, once again, by the same people, Lorance Audio, that make these drivers for me. Um, so it's all consistent. You know. So I'm in heaven. I've got 7.1.4 in my land room um, <laughs> to test it. Sonyworks is just behind I guess you have me. bigger houses in Australia than we have in England then. But, well, uh, just a bit, but not really. I've just got open living more. Oh, nice. I'll show it to you, but it's no use showing you on the video. I've got it on the phone. 
But as well as the SonarWorks integration, you're also showing for the first time in public, I think, your new main monitors. Yeah, they're, they're the baby ones. Uh, they all ha have the same sound characteristics throughout the range, um, even the bottom end. So this is for smaller rooms and broadcast vehicles. This is the go-to that you've been advertising a lot and reviews on. Um, that's the most, the workhorse, really. These are for far field. They're huge. Um, they're not boomy, they're, they're the same clarity and transience are in them. And people, actually people that are coming past here are just amazed at how can it be so clear and accurate. The wattage is like, they're 1300 watts a pair for the little ones. They're also 1300 watts for the, the single tan. They're 4000 watts for the bigger range. So, you know, four and a half meters away in a studio, that's where you're getting, instead of Osbergers, which have been great for years, I suppose, but um, they have their characteristics. These are clean and accurate. It's like having your near field sound quality come out of the far field. Yeah, because I guess a lot of people are reluctant to mix on the mains in studios because it just doesn't sound very much like a domestic speaker. Because you've got yeah. this massive speaker. I know if you can get that sound, that precision of sound character in a far field speaker, that's yeah, well, well, best of both worlds, really. I have. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I look forward to hearing them one day. That oh, sounds yeah. amazing. We come by later. We'll get, we'll maybe oh, I mean, lots of people will come by. We'll give you a listen. I'm not surprised you've lost your voice if you're trying to talk over the top of those anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. You're trying to do uh, demos there and talk while they're listening. But yeah, I'll just be careful. Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks, Wayne. It's been great to see you, mate. And thank you. Like, you've been awesome support for me, Sound on Sound magazine. Well, I we love, love your, we love your stuff. We you. love your stuff. And, and so. you know what you're talking about. That's the reason I stay with you. You review honestly. You uh, you, you you work as a team uh, with whoever you you're um, working with, and I love that. So thank Thanks, you. Wayne. That means a lot, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Have a great show. You too. Cheers, guys.